What I have here is a much anticipated drone of this year. This is called the Hubson Xeno Mini Pro. Stick around, enjoy the review, and I'll catch you guys at the field. Peace. Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. So I am at Monroe Park, which you guys have seen quite a few times before. I'm going to step back and recalibrate this drone and we'll get it up in the air. But first, I just want to tell you guys a couple of little things about it. So number one, installing the drivers for this drone to get the Hubson program on your PC, which uh, calibrates the obstacle avoidance. It's a little bit of a task. Now, depending on which windows you have, uh, I believe 10 is the easiest to get it going on. I, I couldn't get it to work on 8.1. Uh, they say seven to 10 works, but I had the darndest of a time. It took me two days of playing around with PCs and I have three different PCs. I finally got it to work on my newest built PC but I had to install a copy of Windows 10, which I downloaded online to a USB drive and uh, went that route. Now, when you do get the program installed, you're gonna get errors that are asking for DLL files. So you don't just install those DLL files anywhere on your PC. They have to be installed into the Hubson directory, which the program for the obstacle avoidance is. Uh, number two, guys, this on-the-go cable is literally crap. It disconnects from the drone multiple times. There have been a few flights I've got to do without it happening, but keep that in mind. Don't fly too far away or over water, just in case, because it's bound to happen. I know some of the other reviewers have had this happen with the disconnection of the cable, the, actually the transmitter to the drone, but that's what's causing it is the cable. So I've ordered a new on-the-go cable, but it, like everything else, it's coming on the slow boat from China. So that being said, I'll start this up and away we go. Okay guys, so the drone itself has a better camera than my Mavic Air 2. It has a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor, 
We have a 40 minute flight time, obstacle avoidance on three sides, front, back, and bottom. What else can I tell you guys about it? It's built very well. I really like the build quality. Now, if Hubson can correct the few little issues this drone does have, it'll be an amazing drone, and I would certainly compare it to the Mavic Air 2. So, I just have to turn this way, guys, because of the sun, so I can see my phone. We'll enter the Hubson app. Enter device. Okay, it's telling me, okay, there we go. My cable is good. So you cannot film with this until you start to fly. Uh, this is to save power as this drone will absolutely drain the battery completely very fast if you have everything running at the same time. So what Hubson done was shut the camera down until the drone takes off. So let's get it up in the air, actually, I have to calibrate first guys so forgive me about that I'm gonna do calibration so sure that we don't have any problems so compass calibration and it's pretty quick I know most drones are usually spin it three times but it is really fast you get maybe a turn a turn and a half and your calibration is done I can't really see my phone because it has a crack in the So we'll go back in. We will calibrate the gyro. And that's all I'm going to do. I've already done the IMU at home. And the horizontal should be good. You can't actually calibrate that one until you calibrate the, hor the horizon. So, okay, let's take off. We have 14 satellites. Another thing about this, guys, if you can hear the transmitter, obstacle avoidance is automatically off. You have to turn that on yourself. Okay, we will go to video. It's hard to see my phone in the sunlight. Pick the video. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it in 4K and record okay drone is now recording a little bit camera down on me it absolutely does have a great camera guys i can't complain about the camera okay so the first thing i'm going to show you guys is the circle me which is orbit mode what is going on here okay, it's just giving me Quick prompts. Okay, so I have it set to eight or nine meters. I'll go next. I'm going to go up a bit though above the trees here. Just to be sure, because the obstacle avoidance is off. And that should be high enough. So we will execute immediately. And there's your orbit, guys. You can speed it up if you like. There is a little dial there to adjust the speed setting. But I will leave it as it is. It's fine. Pulls a nice slow route. So you guys can see how great that works. Now, the thing I didn't know until I watched Captain Drone's review this morning was when you record with this drone, it actually records two videos of the same video, a high res and a low res. And I would have had this video done yesterday, but stupid me, I went and edited the low res and it absolutely screwed me up. So we will exit that right now. There we go. We'll go back in. Now there are, still are a few features that aren't set to uh, active, aren't active yet, which is hyperlapse. And I'm not sure, I think the creative video is. I think it's just a hyperlapse. So we'll check that. Yeah, hyperlapse isn't ready yet. I believe that comes out the 20th. 
So another thing guys, this drone just had a firmware update this morning. I just put it on there, so I'm not sure what it corrects, but it seems to be working good. Hopefully, hopefully what Hubson done was throw more power through this cable so it doesn't disconnect, if that would help at all. So let's go into the follow mode. We will do the GPS follow and execute immediately. I have to walk away from the camera, but you guys can see it will follow my phone. Let's get me in the view here, put that camera down. Yeah, it's following. I'm going to head back this way. I just don't really have me in the camera view. Let's turn the drone. That's another thing. You can turn the drone while you have it following. I'm going to exit that because I can't really see me here. My phone is... Uh, the screen is all smashed in this phone. But I decided to use this phone because my my main phone, the memory is completely full in it. Take that camera up. Let's find me. Okay, there I am. That that is me. As I am standing ahead of the yes, that's me. Okay, we'll do this again, guys, so you can see. It's just really hard for me to see this right now because of my phone. Follow mode, GPS follow, execute immediately. Okay, I'm walking away. The drone is starting to move sideways. Me in view, but the only thing, when you have the GPS follow on, it will not keep you center screen. I find it tends to keep you over the edge of the screen. Okay, we'll exit that one. I am going to bring the drone down a little. Bring it a little closer. And I'm going to show you guys the image follow. Follow mode. Active track. Understood. Draw a box around me and hit go. Okay, guys, walking away again. This is the act which I find is really, really good. It definitely keeps you center screen. You guys can see that drone is following me. It's doing a great job. I'm going to come forward because there are a few people down there. Go forward, let that drone come to me. Yeah, it's coming. So I'm going to hang a right. Drone is following. It's keeping me center screen. What do you guys think? The camera on this, like I said, is absolutely amazing, but it does have a slight bit of jello. So we will stop that follow me. Bring the drone down. Now it only has a bit of jello when you're flying in high wind. Now I'm not sure about today. It's, I, I didn't even really check the wind. It's, it's a slight breeze today. You guys can see the flags on the pole blowing. So it may be 10 mile an hour wind, if that. But it's not, it's not terribly bad at all. So next I will turn the obstacle avoidance on and show you guys that. Automatic brake is on. The thing I don't like about this guys, you have to calibrate that yourself, like I said. I don't know what it's picking up right now. The odd time it will do this, there will be nothing in front of it, but it will beep off like there's something there. Let's bring it at me. And it stopped dead. I'm holding the stick. 
full forward. Not coming. Let's turn the drone around to the back sensors. Bring it ahead a little. And bring it back to me. Whoa. Okay, now it decides to pick me up. See, it's, it's a little iffy at times. I don't know if the sun was glaring into that. I'm gonna do it this way, guys. It could have been that. Oh, okay. No beeping. Drone straight back to me. Yes, okay. So it must have been the sun glare because the sun is right there pounding. Now, so we know obstacle avoidance works. The only thing is that you have to calibrate it yourself. Now they say once a month is fine, but I flew this for two days. The third day, the app told me to recalibrate the obstacle avoidance sensors, which it shouldn't have really had to been done. And like I say, it's an awful hard time your first time to get it to calibrate. Sometimes the, uh, the PC program, the Hubson program, does not want to recognize the drone. And uh, you'll have to try multiple times when that happens. So I'm going to stop recording. We will turn the camera on. And I'm going to take a picture. We will get those... Uh, the anti-aircraft gun and the flags in the pick and snap a pick. There's our first picture. Now settings are set to man, uh, sorry, auto. So I don't have anything specific set here like the white balance or anything. It's just all auto. And see that is picking something up and it's not near anything, but let's see if I get closer, will it stop the drone? Could be picking the flagpoles up, but then again, it could be the sun. Hey, no, it's not, uh, it just let me travel between those posts. Now it's stopping like, okay, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna get a second pick here, guys. Snap picture. And I'm going to go back to video and record again. And now we are going to try the uh, waypoints. So let's get that drone here. So into waypoint mode, waypoint mission planning. We want to draw. I want to stay close. There are four waypoints. We will hit submit. I'm going to gain some altitude. Just, just make sure I'm away from trees. And done. Okay. It's climbing. And it's now pulling its waypoint. It's hit number one, it's going to number two. Now these are awful close, I just didn't want to go too far, just in case the drone ends up disconnecting. It's heading to number three, turning over to number four, and waypoints work great. So it's hit number four, it's finished. We'll go back to the camera view. Now I'm just gonna fly around the park here, guys. I'm gonna fly around the park camera down the best. I believe I have this in film mode. Let's just check it. Uh, that's sport mode. Okay, it was in normal. This is film mode, which is really slow. I believe it's like three meters a second. So great for cinematic footage. I don't want to go too far over in case it disconnects. So I want to stay along the edge of the uh, park here. Let's 
But what do you guys think? How does that camera look? I think it's a sweet, sweet camera. Now, I'm sure Hubson will fix any little issues that this has with firmware updates. But as Captain Drone said, he thinks it will take them at least up to six months to uh, do all the firmware updates this drone needs. Last thing I want to show you guys is the return to home to find the apron, the landing pad. So where is that setting? Make sure it's turned on. Setting. Battery. Uh, automatic screen rotation. Device status will pop up. Where is it at? View horizontal. Return altitude is. Let's go 35 meters. Okay, there it is. Search for drone apron. That is now turned on. We'll exit. And we will hit return to home. Return to home. You guys hear that transmitter? Return to home. The drone is climbing to 30 meters. It's now coming back. I will put my camera down to show you guys. So our summer is kaput here, guys. It uh, was really cold out this morning. It's fairly cold right now, but it's manageable. And as this drone comes close to the ground, it will automatically pick the camera up. If you can see on that, I'm not sure if you can, it is finding the apron. It shows it on the screen. It shows an outline over the apron. So camera just picked up. It's on the very edge of the apron. So wind is blowing this way, so that had a little factor to FPA do with it. Has been turned off. It will turn off automatically. So shut the FPV. And I'm gonna take off again here. Camera on, video, start recording. There we go. I'm gonna do a little low to ground flight. Keep it low. Landing. Whoa, tried to land. I got a little too low. <coughs> so be careful of that. You get too close to the ground, it's gonna try and dive. And uh, it'll be, you guys must have heard it. It said landing. So very, very wide turns when it's in film mode. Very wide turns. What do you guys think? How's the camera acting? Is there any jello? Can't tell myself because I can barely see the screen. It is pretty smashed. I'd love to use my other iPhone, but uh, the memory is just completely full. So I'm going to go up here a bit and I'm going to get a couple of pictures while we're here. I certainly want another picture of that cannon. What I do want a picture of, guys, is the uh, model plane hanging over here. So let's get over and get a, grab a nice pic of that. You guys see it there? Wouldn't that make a wonderful RC plane? I have a few seagulls floating around here above me. Don't want to get too close. Okay, there's the plane. It's kind of back on though. Let's see if I can get over to the side of it. I don't want to go out on the road. Oh, 
right there. Oh, that seagull came really close. Okay, stop recording. Pictures. Snap a pic. Back to video, start recording. We're recording again. Let's bring that drone back over here. I don't like those seagulls. There were three of them just around the drone. So, for all the cars you see here, guys, there aren't many people in this park. So there we go. I am going to stop recording. I believe the horizon is slightly off. And there, there's an option on this app so you can correct that horizon, but hopefully Hubson fixes that so you don't have to do it. Okay, camera, take a picture. There we go. I want all three flags in the pic. So let's move over this way. Gain a little altitude and take a picture. There we go. Now, so you guys can really tell what the camera is like, I'll take a picture of myself and then we will pretty much call it a day. So if I haven't mentioned this, I'm not sure if I did. It's a 40 minute flight time on one battery. There's a picture. Back to the video, start recording. Now, if you keep this little plastic cover on the bottom of the drone, your drone will come over the 240, 250 gram limit. I think it's something like 253 grams or something like that. So keep that off of the bottom. You will stay under the 250. Get a little view of the Yacht Club, which is right there ahead of me. And let's back away. So another thing guys, this has a zoom, but I don't think it picks it up in the recording. There we go. And I'm going to return home, land this drone. That should be all you guys need to see about this drone. And luckily, uh, no disconnections today. So I finally get to review this drone with no issues. And drone is coming down. It's found that apron. So that wind is still slightly pushing, but the drone is correcting, moving that way. You guys can see that. It's correcting again. And down it goes, camera just came up. And dead center on the uh, landing pad, guys. So stop recording, FDA which it does automatically. It will turn on automatically after the aircraft takes So power down. Uh, all of that flying, I have only burnt one light of the battery. So, my thoughts on this drone, guys, it is a really good drone. It just needs some firmware updates. Which, as I'm hearing, Hubson uh, are really good at doing. It's putting a drone out to the public before it's absolutely finished. And letting the public tell what's wrong with the drone so they can fix it with firmware updates. But yes, it's certainly a nice drone. Is it worth the cost? Most definitely for all the features it does have. Uh, I believe I paid $650, so it's half of a Mavic Air 2. 
and it has a better camera than the Mavic Air 2. So yeah, it's certainly worth the cost, guys. Plus it has a built-in hard drive. I have the 128 gigabyte version. Now, depending on how many batteries you order with your drone, you're either going to get the single battery charger, which I have, it's about yay big. Or if you order multiple, you will get the big battery multiple charger, which holds four batteries which I, I thought came with all of them, but I was wrong on that. So another thing for Hubson, they actually gave everybody that waited a long time and pre-ordered. I got a jacket, it's a Hubson jacket. You'll see it on me sometime. Uh, I think I just have to lose a couple of pounds off of here first, guys. And they gave me a 3XL, so it's a nice coat. I'll show you guys soon. That being said, I would recommend to purchase it. I know a lot of people are going to want this. It does fly great, absolutely great. Uh, if you're new guys, you like what you see here, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, make sure your notifications are on, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.